this is definitely what it is. We'll have to find some other way to record this stuff. Just not lucky. It show the time, but I have no idea. It doesn't show. The time, that's basically, that's good. Mine is about 10 minutes ahead. That's good. Anything is good. Any information is good right now. This is a money exchange shop, and I just got confirmation from the lady. I used to know the old owner when we were here uh, with Americans. By the way, yeah, today is June the 3rd, 2020. This here, this is where he used to have his business. This is where we would come to change your money first. How long ago was this? Long, long ago. Lady told me 2008 earlier. So this goes back God knows how far again. Uh, then he moved here, and this is where he opened everything inside, uh, you know, like a classic money exchange place. You would not suspect it was here, but I was inside here. I remember what it looks inside here, and the lady confirmed me. The owner no longer is allowed for the eight years now. Everywhere, all over the city I was. What is the name of the city? This is... Pua key, something like that. It's right on the border between the Czech Republic and Poland. Look, there is a border right here, you see it? And look, this is a money exchange place, counter. No? So do you think that you will just go like this in a little place like this and identify people? Lady actually identified me. She remembers me. So there you have another proof about MK Ultra. Right there. For this matter, so that I'm gonna not gonna lose time, because the the, the thing is that I have so much data recorded that uh, allow probably about two terabytes like this put on the internet. Just go to 360 minutes, recording 2157, the last numbers, June 3rd, 2020. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first, what I usually also do is this thing here, that it proves date and time, and you can see today is Saturday, June 6, 2020. There you have a time and date just to make sure that everything is factual the way it's supposed to be. This is my habit and it's quite a useful habit too because the following audio recording which undoubtedly proves the presence, my presence of my being eventually oh, well let's see that it does not exactly demonstrate the city of, oh it does, it's right there, Australia, it's right there, you can see it, that will be right here, my presence, however, I believe it was here somewhere that I appeared, right at this point here, and that would be on a June 3rd eventually, on a June 3rd, I got another proof, which undoubtedly testifies about not only me being recognized in the city of Hawupki, that's a little city before, just before the Ostrava in Czech Republic, um, but also me pointing out factually knowledge of the city that dates way back to 97, 98, 
and afterwards for many many years a city would change as the city of Ostrava would change during American, British, German, French delegations which would pay the visit to the city and would pledge themselves to large investments into a Czech Republic. Um, not only the Czech Republic, but of course city of Katowice, Krakow that you see right there. There is a Novi Turk, Zakopani, which I did. Uh, the entire, basically the city, I went over and I explained how the city changed over the years. Already in 2018 when I came, first to Poland. That's basically what I came, I did those two cities. Then somehow I decided to even stay in Poland. And did apply here for political asylum. And that's how all this stuff started, although this is not what I asked for. I asked for the case to be recognized, to be admitted, recognized by international authorities, United Nations, as factual MKHA case, so this whole thing could end and I could move on with my life rather than losing another two years down the road and be subject to all kinds of criminal practices border state exercised against me ever since. For the sake of the Ford Trump, now if you don't know what a Ford Trump is, you can go ahead and you can Google that on the internet and you're going to find out what Ford Trump is. Um, the following recording goes back to June 3rd of 2020, that's about three days ago. On the audio recording number one, you can hear me being recognized. Yeah, also me being recognized by the lady, uh, by employee. I don't know if she ever got married to the son of the owner or not. There was something in the picture about that though. This once was a beautiful girl. I remember her very well and for me it's extremely meaningful. The real reason why I'm still around here is because of the people like this. Extremely, extremely meaningful that a lady, well, shortly she was a beautiful lady. Um, somehow I have no idea exactly how from her standpoint of view um, but this repeated all the time. The ladies would want from me a recognition and then what would happen is I would be uh, basically sidelined by somewhere by someone usually someone near there. They would start to date basically. This is, was a frequent practice on the MK Ultra and when that stuff would happen then I also no longer would want to mess with them. Then I also rejected the idea about uh, basically having want to have anything to do with it further. And then I also was nasty and all, all kinds of stuff went out. And I was nasty to her. I really was and that's why it, it, it really is meaningful to me that she actually recognized me. That she said it was a long time ago. You, this recording is in a Polish language. Further, I, just as I was to exit the place, and the memories all of a sudden kicked so much that I knew exactly where I was. I remember the old man, the owner. Further, I remember the son. All of a sudden I found myself in a completely different world. I remember what was behind the doors in front of me, not in a premises, not in a room where the money exchange was now, but in the room next to it which was locked. No sign whatsoever was in that room. A memory kicked in about everything how the furniture were was rearranged. The room, the memory kicked in how the business started at the place. Then the memory kicked in how the son was the one who changed the furniture, how he rearranged everything. 
the wall and then finally the memory kicked in how the business relocated itself uh, to the left side of the building you're about to see so that now from the beginning even how the business started I don't know what year this goes to I, it goes maybe this was the first one that started and was doing real well then another business opened along the street also was a money exchange so now all of a sudden I find myself in a situation when I go back again another I don't know 23 years or something like this in MK Ultra memory yeah this was the frequent point we would use the frequent pass we would use Either you would go Warsaw, Lodz, Katowice, Krakow, and you would go to the Czech Republic, to Ostrava, Brno, Prague, or something with a car, whatever it would be. There are the frequent routes we would use. This right here, this this city here. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom myself into so you can see from a little bit closer. It's a very 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 tiny 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 city. This Hawupki, you see this beautiful place here that's all I gotta say in respect to this audio recording I think this is very powerful of course the presence of Americans here would be impossible to say there was no presence of Americans I mean this was like a super heavy presence and of course pres my presence also knowledge what exactly do I know about this city Whoa. It's amazing, it's amazing. You see the you see the street here? It's called Povstanco Schwaskich. Everything whatever went on here for the last twenty years is basically twenty three years is what I know. Every one of the residents here knows me in this city basically, not only in this street, but especially in this street everybody knows me here. I remember the girl I remember all kinds of stuff went on here and I remember so do you know why because this here this is like a main this is a main railway station but well, the problem with this audio recording is when we came here to this place you know what happened this thing was still open this what you see here in front of you this building this was still still open was still everything was normal here and then sometimes I have no idea what year was it was it like 2004 2005 maybe something like this they came to terms to close the building down entire street that you see here this all this street entire street here this the kids here they grew up with me young woman that grew in young woman that grew into a beautiful woman got married I saw them with their children as I walked through here and I just want to say thank you and I do like to come back here like in a nor more much more normal circumstances than this was because I rushed through the city without basically any break at all whatsoever I went without sleep for no less than 37 hours between the 37 hours I lay down for about two hours on my back at a central train station in the city of Katowice right here where unfortunately I have to say I was also not received in a way that I would consider this as a pleasant reception or something like this I was not exactly pleased with it I had a very difficult day the transport I got was a ride from Warsaw it was a pre-selected transport that involved two gentlemen who were involved in MKUltra who however campaigned for Andrzej Duda they campaigned for Morawiecki they campaign, campaigned for Kaczynski and they were trying to push the wrong words 
into my mouth through the MK Ultra brainwash. It's a recording I'm gonna yet I have to release. In the city of Katowice I literally got a telephone Android in my face asking for donations just as I was told the case is gonna be under MK Ultra. If you will not donate for this for it's gonna be a child, something like this. If you will not donate and this and that and then it's going to be the video that is going to go behind your back around in the public and stuff like this. This is this was the reception to the city of, of Katowice. This is what I got that day. So I apologize to the people from the city of Hawupki. I want to be back. I want to see the city. I want to meet the people. Uh, it was very difficult. Very difficult two days. I came with a blood block car and uh, just trying to save myself every penny, this and that. Um, believe me, it was extremely costly, in the, especially in the city of Katowice because the bus station, they did not fix one yet. It's still the total mess with, uh, with crazy issues, which I explain in a separate video. So, city of Hawapki, you know, that I'd love to be come back. It's a beautiful city. I want to thank you all. A security guard had a good job in 2018, sis. But I think it was there in 2017 already for sure. Um, was a gentleman involved in MK Ultra knew me very well. He wouldn't say that exactly he recognized me too, but maybe he was like in between. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe people fear but I will tell you all of you you have nothing really to fear this case will be recognized it's just a matter of time by international community one way or the other this case will be recognized so that's all I want to say in Katowice I was also pleasantly surprised there also was a team of people that came to greet me, came to meet me, that have expressed the opposite view from Katowice's mayor. But all that stuff I will go and I will explain in a separate video. There is a whole lot that went on. Let's just concentrate on this. If you understand Polish language, and you will see uh, that these are just a plain facts. This is an audio recording. What can I tell you? What was behind that room, behind that room door? A table, everything new. Um, once the money exchange changed, it was like an office that became inside. They changed everything. It was like an office, no? Watch the video is all I can say and this is yet another proof on completely other side of the Poland in the border with the Czech Republic which by the way they would not let me through to the Czech Republic that day they would not let me through to the Czech Republic that day because of the coronavirus issue despite Polish immigration border patrol um, a gesture on their, new, on their website that it is actually already okay to they allow the people to move through the border and they do the problem is with the Czech Republic they did not allow they conditions me they ask me condition me eventually if I have if I go for work or something like this over there and luckily I didn't lie because they would ask me for papers an individual was in the police uniform who was doing, who was conducting what on the police side is doing the immigration, the border patrol services. So I really could get myself in trouble in case I would do something like this. Of course, I wouldn't. Um, individual, who was individual? This is the man, a police officer that works at this point already for at least 10 years. 
He's from the Novi Bohumin, a native here. He is right from this area. Um, I can tell you about that. I have recognized him. I have recognized a whole bunch of people, including the people on the Polish side, for whom, however, um, I was a little bit confused because in one at one border point there was a military officer who guarded um, who, who, who got at the point alone with machine gun and on the other point entry exit point Poland Czech Republic let's say uh, they had I believe and police and um, military and uh, immigration or something like this it appeared to me and the only thing I know is I always remember it there were three guys I recognized um, but I was actually I actually believed because they had uniform almost and different from um, military that they belonged to the military but uh, yeah I remember them always there so this was very very confusing issue because when they were there they also wore those kind of military uniforms this is what didn't make sense to me and I got so confused uh, about that issue I would expect this it is a border crossing that you would get a border patrol officer immigration officer in a normal immigration uniform but that was just not the case so I assume that they are actually soldiers who always work there at, at that location so that's that basically uh, June 3rd 2020 city of Hawuki uh, let me just one more time quickly demonstrate exactly where that was I already have demonstrated um, this is a train station here and then I went to this main street here and then I would proceed down in this direction here and would proceed in this direction here eventually I'm going to try to draw this thing here see if I can do something perhaps something like this so that I can give you maybe a little a better idea uh, no I can't yeah, I can actually like this. This was the initial attempt to get through, or basically through here. And it's where the soldier stopped me. And then I would find myself going basically back up to the intersection and I would continue this way. Where there is another crossing point. Uh, in fact, if I do what's up? if I do zoom myself into uh, I just stop with this stuff here for a second if I do zoom myself here you can eventually see but this is gonna be then explained this is the place where I was uh, let me see something here if I go into details this here this where you see here the sign cantor this here this is the building I know everything about this building I know everything about this building. Uh, I, this this is the building that I know the whole history about the building. How about this? I'm not going to go into it because I do like it. rather someone to try to challenge or something like this. See, I'm like this that I don't like to lay everything out. Yeah, I don't like doing this stuff. So if I go and I draw this quickly, this here is where the main money exchange was okay this is the way it is and then this money exchange moved here 
to this area, to this room here. And I did manage to identify. Now, if somebody wants to challenge or something like this, I can also tell how it was inside. Exactly where the money exchange was and everything and stuff like this, right? But let's wait. It's some smart someone find itself for that kind of stuff. Okay. So this was the money exchange. This is how I have identified everything and proven with a fact beyond any doubt my presence at this place in the past. Now, I don't actually. Oh, look at that. This is nice. I like that. Tick, tick, tick. We're gonna do it like this, and from here I continue it toward this, this crossing here. This is this crossing here, pedestrian crosswalk, was barricaded, and there was a nice a gentleman who would sit here. This is also the soldier who was a local from here. This is another issue related to coronavirus issues. I already told you about this. And I will talk about this at the request of public, at the request of people when one will be interested in learning more about how coronavirus came to life, who was the one who orchestrated coronavirus and how. You know, Donald Trump was here many, many, many times. Many times. And this is basically where I afterwards crossed to the Czech Republic. Exactly, this is another bridge. You have to return to the same intersection and continue uh, to another uh, border crossing point. And I did go, I did go right through the bridge and I was already on the Czech Republic side here somewhere like this. And it's where the police officer would just not uh, allow me to go to the city Behemino, I think the name is. And so you're gonna see this, everything from the video. I had to return back because of that to Poland, yeah? But I definitely have proofs about my being, in fact, in the Czech Republic. Well, um, I was told this is not gonna be sufficient the person who extremely extremely worried about me and it's exactly because of this person I came to this border crossing told me it's not gonna be enough because immigration will try to bully me basically Warsawa uh, Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki, Kaczynski will try to bully me with many many more issues many more problems uh, that's what these guys are basically all about okay so let's go to the audio that proves beyond any doubt people knowing me here and my knowing the place my knowing the place for no less than 20 years when brought from United States of America and then from Slovenia and even from Scandinavia and Germany to Poland for the MK Ultra basically being wasted through MK Ultra for no less than 20 year, 21 years um, like this let's go to the facts now everything again as I stated is happening right here in this place counter in Polish is money exchange basically this is the oldest one this is the number one right here Yeah, sure. 
Но я хотел бы так на эту информацию, что на пришли какие-то думения, то есть как как корона золота. Что есть, что не есть немецкая граница. А как мы этот бизнес везли тут на какие 10 лет, 10? 12 лет, что так это везли? Где ты же был и то, на правде? Что ты там был? Пекна есть Польска, пекна есть, вот так и были есть две есть. Так, так пекна есть, да, погода, да? Ну, может быть, теплее, но, когда мы в Москве, то все, может быть, в И, не знаю, послали, что мы Мовили, то и было некий, на некий таблице, что можно что забачить, э, что был джем, как так его было. Была некая одна таблица, не знаю, как так его. То, не, то, то я сам не забачил, но когда же разговаривал, они жили в Южной, они говорили, если кто знает, что и дата есть, и, и до сих пор может быть это очень хорошо. Для меня. Не было так. Ага, ага, окей. Ну, но я помню, там просто... Ну... Добре. Теперь сын наши шеф. Теперь сын наши шеф. Ага, линия. Вы меня бачите? Вы меня есть вашество, так? Есть еще одно сильное вашество, да? Да, вашество у нас не будет. Нет. Что же, лад? Осем лад. То не может его быть, что же, наше. Ой, что мне? Но если вы видите, что очень много энергии, то есть, да, то есть, как я помню там то, первое, что тут распочалось, не есть где вы есть теперь, было есть там, где есть та сала там. Что есть было? У той сали там, то есть, у той звездник там, там мы все что распочали. А не помню, что добре то? Было, было. Добре. Добре, дякую вам. Життя мне уже дня. Видимо.
But I was inside here, I remember what it looked inside here. And the lady confirmed me. The owner no longer is all for the eight years now. Everywhere all over the city I was. What is going on the city? The city is Swatsky, something like that. It's right on the border between the first part of the corner. There is a border right here, you see it? And look, this is a money exchange place, counter. So you think that you would just go like this in a very place like this and identify people? Maybe actually identify people. Probably about two terabytes like this put on the internet. Just go to 360 minutes recording 2157, the last numbers, June 3rd, 2020. This here, this is where he used to have his business. This is where we would come to change your money first. How long ago was this? Long, long ago. Lady told me 2008, earlier. So this goes back God knows how far again. Uh, then he moved here. And this is where he opened everything inside. Uh, you know, like a classic money exchange place. You would not suspect it was here. But I was inside here. I remember what it looks inside here. And the lady confirmed me. The owner no longer is allowed for the eight years now. Everywhere, all over the city I was. What is the name of the city? This is... Swatsky, something like that. It's right on the border between... The Czech Republic and Poland. Look, there is a border right here, you see it? And look, this is a money exchange place, counter. Huh? So do you think that you will just go like this in a little place like this and identify people? Lady actually identified me. She remembers me. So there you have another proof about MK Ultra. Right there. For this matter, so that I'm gonna not gonna lose time, because the the, the thing is that I have so much data recorded that uh, about probably about two terabytes like this put on the internet. Just go to 360 minutes recording 2157. The last numbers, June 3rd, 2020. Ja nie mogę przejść granicy, to? Nie, tutaj pan nie przejdzie. Musi pani, jak jest skrzyżowanie ze światłami? Aha, w lewo. Aha, i tam pana przepuszczę. Ojej, jak przepraszam. 
I have no idea if I'm ever going to make it through here now, the officers told me. Uh, May 3rd of 2020, I'm trying to guess, yeah, I am already in the zone right now between Czech Republic and Poland. In fact, I'm about to go to Czech Republic right now, uh, probably in September, the Czech side right now. So technically, you know, this for immigration should be, I don't know what the situation should be, uh, but as you, this is a demonstrating Czech Republic, right? Bohemia, Bohemia, is the Tuzman, you probably remember, that's the other river, right there, you see it, right from, but that's bigger, but we have a bridge like this, such a fancy bridge we have, anyhow, everything stays the same, for accidents and so on and so forth, that uh, was wide. Well, it didn't for me, but actually the truth is that right suffice for me. So I would read the proof, so I would not, so on. The lady recognized me in the, in the city. This is the kind of stuff that makes me back across the water. People like this. Hey, guys. That rear, I don't know that people are not. I don't have an idea, but I could probably quit. That's what it is. I don't have stuff. But I understand they did open it. It's a beautiful river, it's all the river. I understand they did open it in for me, but actually the truth is that right suffice for me. So I would read the proof, so I would not. So on. The lady recognized me in the, in the Sicily thing. This is the kind of stuff that makes me back across the water. People like this. Hey, guys. I don't know that people are not. I don't have an idea, but I could probably quit. That's what it is. But I understand they did open it. It's a beautiful river, it's all the river. I understand they did open the... Uh, wow, beautiful it is. So this right here, I can... This is a life, beautiful.
Kudete, Ponka. Zesloven. Taky dobrý. Dobré, a kam máte na mířenu? Já se to, já si jdu do, do vaše Bosemina. Do města Bosemina. Do Prahy? Ne, do Prahy. Do, Bohumina. do Bohumina, tak. Co Bohumina. No, tak. No, to vám Bohumina. No tak. No, no tak. Pracovat? Nebo co? Já se tak podívat. A ještě bude v ruce, tam to počte. Ještě zrobím to. Super, a nějaké dokumenty další? Nic. No, je dokumenty. No tak, no tak. Já jsem myslel, co tam budete dělat v tom Polsku. Proč tam jdete? No, co na to? No, to je zrovna nepotřebuji, ale to nevá. Proč tam jdete do toho Polska? Proč tam jdete do Polska? Why you go to Bohumy? Because I'm a guy to go. I have to go. There was no work. And so I have to, I'm obligated to like every three months because I'm from the European Union. I can stay in Poland as long as every three months I check outside of the Poland. So I'm going to go buy myself one coffee, something like this and back. Take some pictures like I was told to do and come back. Yeah, this is the thing, this is the thing. Can't see. Because I'm in the center of the Poland. Border. Close. Dziękuję. 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 A, czyli jak po ukraińsku, Dziękuję. 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 No, ani nie, pasywa po ruchu. Pasywa, no, to się wręczy jeszcze wcale.
This was actually given to me just so I can get back, just in case. By the Czech police. Uh, despite my hitting, I'm going to say the jackpot with that money exchange, I did extremely poorly that day. Believe it or not, you might think, um, wow, you know, something like this. No, it's not wow. On the Polish border, border patrol immigration, the second cross point where I headed for the Czech Republic to meet with the Czech police, there were four officers I have recognized. Now the problem was a big one. The problem was the confusion with the uniforms. Uh, the gentleman, the first, the first gentleman soldier that stopped me on a crossing point to Bo, uh, to Bohemian on a first bridge. Okay, this gentleman. Okay, let me explain how it was the Bohemian this crossing point. Uh, this crossing point is actually how how was that stuff with the crossing point? The crossing point. When we would head to Bohemian through that crossing point, this was reserved for the locals only. This was reserved for the locals only, and we would actually be even discouraged from going through that crossing point. We would be always told to go to the crossing point that you have heard at the end, the audio recording, the long one, the bridge that you have seen. This is number one. Number two. The soldier is a local, he's a local from Hawopki. This soldier was involved in MKUltra and he told me exactly what the scenario is going to be, how we're going to meet, when we're going to meet. I told you already, when you express interest, I will pay attention to other than issues about MKUltra. I have proofs about what went on, but for that matter, people are going to have to express some interest in that alone. I alone will not be pushing that issue. I have enough uh, job with a case of my own. Uh, the gentleman is a local. He is in reserve guards. Wears a military uniform, completely uni wear completely like totally military, and he says he's a soldier. As I proceeded to the second crossing point, the one that is used for international entry, like an entry port to Czech Republic or to Poland, that's where I recognized no less than four people. And as far as I remember, there's supposed to be also one more lady that's supposed to work. There were one lady was there. I recognized her. Um, she had a mask. This, this is like a really pretty lady. They put on this border like, like models almost um, to feel Americans good, to feel this high-end American class business people, uh, you know, Germans and French, whoever went through there to, to make them feel important, good, and so on and so forth. This is basically what this was, yeah? Um, four people were that day, uh, a strong man that actually wear the immigration uniform as a immigration uh, border officer should, was working there already, forget about, since 2002. The gentleman I have spoken with in and on the way out, he was joking with me the same thing, 2002, 2003 already there. Um, the ladies joined a little earlier, maybe. The ladies were not as early as males. They came in 2004, 2005, something like this. I know that too. Uh, and then there were another two officers, male officers, basically four people that they were, that I recognized. One female was not even there, but four people that always were there at this checking point were there. To make myself clear, check border, check border. There were three guys. It was three guys that always worked at the check border. 
the gentleman who met me right there, uh, right, a little blonde gentleman, this is the gentleman that is, is here from the city, Bohemian. That's a trouble because they had people literally transferred even from Ostrava, Ostrava to Bohemian to do the job. And some officers would commute themselves from, um, from outskirts of Ostrava, uh, further from Bohemian toward Ostrava to, um, to this checking point, to this checking guard. The three are friends. Could be the two no longer are there and that this gentleman is the only one and it could be that the other gentleman whom i have not even looked well could have been the one the thing is that they i just wanted to go but this officer that i have spoken with this was one of the most wonderful people that i have a memory on because he would calm me when i would come to this check police uh, they would gather around me almost like an angels. They acted like in, in a certain form in front of Trump. It was insane for them, the whole thing. To the point that they would act like it's completely normal, yeah, <laughs> in front of these politicians. But when they would lead me around, they were horrified alone. They were terrified. He told me, we're going to help you. Don't worry about it. everything is going to be okay and so on. They counseled me. They, uh, police officers in the uniforms, they were the ones that were terrified. And you can imagine what, how I felt about this whole shit. You heard some other people. You heard some other people. Czech police organized local people. This was a truck driver that said he's going to come and that he's going to deliver it, that he's going to stop somewhere and he's going to be there. And it could be not only one, but more that were also involved in MK Ultra that would be right there that I could say that I recognize. Stuff like this. This is what the Czech Republic was. This I did very poor. This was just the nature of the situation. Security guard, the final one, at the rail station on my exit out of city Hawurki. This is the gentleman who was involved in MK Ultra case already from beginnings, completely beginnings. He just didn't come to me immediately. This gentleman actually has a house. He always was a security officer. He was working on other locations, was doing other details, stuff, whatever he was doing. But his house is at the end of the street. If you would head from the station toward the city, straight in the street, his house would be located on maybe the last or before the last one. I have to see it yet on the left side, just in case that you have really a problems with believing, with credibility of my account, of my MKUltra account, of my truly advanced memories, not knowledge, but memories of what went on under MKUltra. It just, I didn't get much sleep. I was extremely pressured thanks to a mayor in Katowice. He organized something unbelievable over there, what went on before I came. I was very negative. I was really, actually, I was angered. I was not happy about the way things developed. And before that, I had a ride from Warsaw to Katowice, along which even cable was stolen from me for USB. Even that part, guy did as he promised he would do. He would reach out for his jacket, and along the way, he would pull the cable that I had. It was black cable I was using to charge the telephone down from the seat. And bye-bye cable. He involved very political issues. There were two passengers who were involved in MK Entra, and they were extremely helpful from the point of view that I did manage to identify them as well. Yes, they organize, like I told you, they know for every step I make. Wherever I go, they provide even the transportation. They'll collect whatever. You pay for the rent, you're going to pay for stuff I told you already. You pay for transportation, and you're going to get that kind of transportation, and so on. This is the way it goes. 
that's all I want to say in respect to this video in case you have any doubts about MK Ultra uh, case of mine. Uh, there's a lot of other packs I know. Have deliberately not mentioned them just in case somebody out there would dare to doubt about something or something. So I always leave something in my sleeve for whatever I give account of. This was completed actually on June 7, 2020, which is the fourth days after uh, my being on a Czech border in the city of Kawurki. Special thank you to all participants. It's this kind of people that want me to stay. Actually, do my best, whatever I can do for Poland, for the Polish people, despite everything. I deem it's not the problem with the Polish people, it's with the politicians. It's, I don't have the problem with whatever people. It's the politicians that have the problem with something good that could come up for the Poland. That's all there is to it. Ja chciałbym wrócić tam do Katowy, czyli tam do Gminy. A, Katowice, no to dopiero przyjedzie za chwilę, za 10 minut przyjedzie. Może tam i potem wrócić, tak? Nie, nie? Ten jedzie do Raciborza. A co jest? Ten jedzie do Raciborza, a za chwilę przyjedzie z Rybnika i pojedzie do Katowic. A, rozumiem. Za chwilę przyjedzie, tu chyba przyjedzie na ten tor. A, rozumiem. Ja już słyszałem, że wszystkie przyjdzie do tu i potem wszystkie wrócą. Ja myślałem, że to jest żadna stanowka. To no nie jest tak, tak? Dobrze. Panie, dziękuję bardzo. No, za chwilę, za 10 minut przyjedzie. Za 10 minut, tak? Tu przyjedzie albo. Nie, tu. Tu przyjedzie no i ten. I potem jedzie za, za 20, za 28 jedzie na katastrofę. Do Rebika albo na Katowice, teraz, teraz nie wiem. A to ty gdzieś robisz tu w Polsce, albo co? Tak, też. Gdzie robisz? Nie jest, tu jest tylko pracę i tak. Tak? No. A skąd żeś przyszedł? Z Czechów albo skąd? Nie, ja jestem w Słowenii. A ty w Słowenii żyjesz, tak? Tak, tak. Słowacja. <laughs> Adam. Ja myślę, że po ty tak mówisz jakby po ukraińsku. Ja jestem w No, ja ty jest bez Byłeś na Ukrainie? Nie Słomen i mam kręgosłowa. To jest no ja nie wiem, no to jest, jest ha, nazywa się Jotka Chałupki, tak ma tak na imię. Nie ma, nie ma. Ja Co to by było chłopcy, chałupki? Jeszcze nie mi lęko zapamięta. I wie, jest to jest chłopcy. Ja jestem chałupki. No, no, no. Ja tu, ja tu, ja tu pracuję. Aha. Pracuję. Gdzie? No, tu, na stacji. Na stacji, tak? Na stacji. Aha. Bo potem jest, są trzy pociągi stoją tu w nocy. W nocy stoją trzy pociągi i potem rano, rano oni jadą. Te pociągi ja, 
ja jestem i jeszcze taki jeden przyjeżdż, y, przychodzi na ósmą godzinę i my tu pilnujemy tych pociągów, żeby nie pomalowali. Polegamy mały, tak? Rozumiem, tak, jasno. A to mlaty muszę robić jakieś rzeczy takie. A nie czy pomalowano. Tylko co nie pomalowano, ale to tam sobie, to nie. A może mało naprawić na jeżeli coś jest tak ładnie. Ale ty też? A ty też malujesz? Nie, ja nie, ja nie, nie, ja użyczę jeszcze na takie do zrobię. Wy bardzo pochodzicie na mojego przyjaciela i słowem. Bardzo, bardzo na niego Ale ty idziesz z Słowacji albo z Słowenii? Z Słowenii. Z Słowenii. A Słowenii? Bardzo, bardzo pochodzicie na mojego przyjaciela i słowenii. A to, a to jak, jak żeś się nauczył mówić po polsku? Sam to, sam to uczył. Sam to uczył. Bo ja się nabili, a ja się uczył w Polsce. Tak się było, naprawdę. A wy mnie na ja pamiętam te mnie. Wy jeździ długo, dużo czasu wy tu jeszcze. A wy, ja może możliwość, że wy jeszcze tu jakieś, co ja znam. Może być, że dużo lat jeszcze tu na tej samej stacji, no? Wy na mnie na pewno znacie, co ja was pamiętam, co wy jeszcze... ...pamiętam z mojego pisze, wy już powiedzieliście. My pamiętam to imię. A ty już kiedyś tu był? No, no. Byłeś tu kiedyś już? No, no. No byłem, na pewno, no ma, no. Byłeś tu na stacji kiedyś już? No tak, tak. No. No to, a to ty nie jesteś, ty nie jesteś pierwszy raz tu? Nie. Ty już był? Ty już był wcześniej. Tak? I ty mnie które pamiętasz? Was pamiętam? Tak? Ja. I jeszcze wy pochodzicie na mojego przyjaciela. Ty. Bardzo. I, i jest... No pamiętacie? Ja byłem tak grubszy. A kiedy, a kiedy to było? A... Ty już było... A to może być to... Nie? Ja to 2013, 2010. Tak się to działo? No, 2008. No zad, no zad, tak. A to ile mam lat? 48. 48 lat? No, no. A ja mam, a ja mam 46. 46, no. Jest mniejsza generacja, no. O dwa lata, o dwa lata ty się starszy ode mnie. No starszy jest ode mnie. Mogę być ojciec co? O dwa lata? Tak. Słowenia, Słowenia. Pamiętam, w tej ulicy pamiętam. Jeszcze jest jedna dziewczyna. O, to było, to powinno być w 2006 roku. Na pewno. Ona była na emisji Ja z przypadkiem mi się uczę, wy znacie co było. Ja nie na pewno pamiętam, to ja jestem. To było Amerykanczo. Pamiętacie jakich Amerykanów to? Co? Może i pamiętam, no. No, 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 no. To było to. To było to. I chciałem do Czeskiej Republiki, to muszę tam na każde trzy miesiące wjechał. Mm. To jestem z Słowenii, no. Musiałem jakiś tam, to byłem tam, to nie chciałbym mieć jakieś problemy z polską migracją.
Właśnie ludzi musisz na... Nie chodzi o wrzucę stanu, ale... Mówisz, że dobrze jest, ten zrobić dla Polski mógł. A ty gdzie jedziesz? Na... Tu my nie jedziesz? Nie. No. No to gdzie teraz jedziesz? Do Łodzi. Do Łodzi jedziesz? Tak, w Polsce, no zawsze. Do centrum Polski. To my jeszcze przybyłem. Daleko, daleko do tej Łódź, nie? No daleko. daleko jest, kurwa, daleko jest. Daleko. Byłoby, byłoby nieczesko, jeżeli by tu był ja, gdzie u, rozumiesz, w Gliwicach, czyli u... To by była inna sytuacja, rozumiesz, w Katowicu, Gliwicach, gdzie się prowadzi, tam Ukraina, Czeska. To jest na stawno, rozumiesz, do, do granicy, ale... Ja, to, 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 tam do centra e, wrócić się, a? jest daleko, daleko jest, nie jest, nie jest tak lęko, nie? I zobacz to, teraz ty masz kręgosłup z płomien, no, spróbuj to, a? A. If this was not exactly the first individual involved in MK Ultra in this city, no, I'm not kidding, this goes to 97. Then this was one of the first people involved in MKUltra. This gentleman worked in the Stokrotka also store, uh, very nearby as a security officer. Uh, he's just a local gentleman. I remember how his house was rebuilt, changed everything. I know personal details, a lot of stuff about this gentleman, right? So that much about that. Um, instigators, provocators. The two gentlemen that brought me from Warsaw to Katowice provoked. They tried to get statements, self-incrementing statements. Uh, they did heavy brainwash during the drive when subject to MK Ultra. They did, they subject me to the drive, they would drive me to this place, and during the drive they would brainwash me, provocate me in all kinds of issues, and they would make all kinds of gaffes and all kinds of situ situations they would come up with, and ideas they would gesture uh, that would make you feel like guilty for whatever, mm, especially because I was accused, falsely accused of a lot of stuff I have absolutely nothing to do with. Now I will play the whole recording about that kind of stuff too. My arrival to Katowice on a June 3rd, 2020 was already... my Prior to arrival, I, I was already pushed against the wall through completely other issues you, you have no idea about. You don't even have to bother sending the cable. I was told that they would send me the cable by the mail and stuff like this. I don't want that cable no more. Um, this cable is a little a little thing all through. It's a really good cable. Um, special cable it is for the data transfer. Um, compared to the loss I could suffer that day because of this this kind of a provocateur shit that went on that Warsaw organized that Duda, Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki organized against me they hunted me already from the day when I stepped out of this residence they already hunted me, they went after me already now you don't know nothing about what went on, how things went on, why I felt this way already you paid basically not really for the transport, but for Warsaw, they can cause as much damage as possible. And you rent, so you get bitten up, basically. You pay them, basically, for the rent. You pay them for the transport. You pay them for whatever the hell you do here in Poland. This is how things are.